before you immerse any device, you really need to focus on three things. One is, is the fans and the removal of the fans in order to save power. If you leave the fans on these devices, um, they, a lot of people uh, think that they actually will circulate the fluid. The fluid, in fact, doesn't need any assistance in circulation from the fans. The fans are designed for use in air, so they're not very efficient for moving fluid around. They basically are just burning unnecessary electricity. Um, with these particular devices, we also had to make sure that we removed any of the thermal paste that was on the CPUs, and we've replaced that with a small piece of indium thermal, uh, thermal material in order to provide for heat transfer to the heat sinks. Now, these heat sinks, of course, are designed for air, so they're quite a bit larger than we would normally need to use in fluid, but because they came with the server, rather than going out and replacing them, it'll work just fine. The final thing that we always do is make sure that we've deactivated any alarms that will come out of the fans being removed because we actually don't need any of the fans uh, as we mentioned earlier in these devices but normally these servers will go into alarm when the fans are not present because the device believes that it's going to overheat so what you do is we go into the bios and we disable those fan alarms